I don't see why I need a new driving license. My old one's just fine. <laughs> At least I'm out doing things. Turn the heater off. It's boiling in here. What are you talking about? This car is cooler than Guy Lombardo. <laughs> Good heavens, she's some sort of female madman. <gasps> hot. Oh, so hot. Thank God, the airbag's activated. Those are my lungs. Ah, early symptom of menopause. What the hell's menopause? Son, menopause is when the stork that brings babies gets shot by drunken hunters. We should all take a look at this. <laughs> what do you know? She's out of eggs. And if you're watching this, so are you. Sure, you may experience mood swings, loss of desire, and private dryness. But don't worry, you can still do everything that you did before. So let's all give menopause a round of menopause. Menopause? I'm not saying that. Oh, that's it. I never realized you wanted a child so badly. I didn't want to get pregnant and lose my looks. <laughs> now your pet iguana. Jub jub. Can do is eat me when I'm dead. Goodbye, Selma. I'm not dead, idiot. I know. That was for the other patients. Oh! Everyone has a child but me. Really are down. Hey, you ever think of adoption? The adoption process. That'll end the heartbreak. Hey, hey, hey. That foot's not dead, it's just asleep. He's perfect for this little guy. I'm gonna give up smoking. Um, is this the baby pound where I gived up my kid cause I need to get him back? Oh no, the birth father! My belly fruit! If you want, I'll call you after Brandine's next letter. Yeah. China has thousands of baby girls who need adoption. Great. Another job lost to a foreigner. You forgot to fill out the name of your husband. Husband? Of course. The Chinese government only allows wholesome married couples to adopt. My husband's name on this form. Have you ever heard of MacGyver? Oh, yes. Big star. Big star. With you to China to pick up the baby. All right. Here I go. Writing the name. Marge. When are we going to tell Homer he has to pretend to be my husband? Wait till the Drambulian sleeping pills kick in. Homer, I'm going to need you to do something for me when we get to China. You name it, oh wise mountain ape. <laughs> you have to pretend to be my husband. Homer, if you do this one small favor, it could transform Selma's life. But Marge, I don't want her to be happy. Oh, okay, I'll... If you look out the left side of the aircraft, you will see our monument to warrior and spicy chicken pioneer, General Gao. Very good. You have passport, husband. All we need now is the sack of 10,000 happiness. When do I get my baby? In a few days. Oh. This will give you a chance to explore our nation's ancient culture. Madam Wu, these are... Uh, our children, Bart and Lisa, yes. And this is Marge, our surprisingly hot nanny. These are the famous Shaolin Temple monks. They pursue spiritual peace through mastery of bare-fisted murder. Oh my, no, stop! You're thinking of Buckingham Palace! What? Oh, look at him sleeping. He's like a little angel that killed 50 million people. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. With these pogo sticks, we'll finally make it over. I walked into the jungle, and by 21, I walked out, and by God, I was rich. So, Mr. Simpson, what do you do for a living? I'm a nuclear... Wait a minute. These guys don't know me. I'm a Chinese acrobat. <gasps> Tomorrow we will give you your baby. Oh, my God. Really? My life 
begins at last. Soon you will have a Chinese baby sister who will surpass you academically. I don't know about that. I'm considered pretty smart. Star Acrobat had an onset of outspokenness and suffered a bullet-related death. <laughs> your acrobatic skills. Only you can prevent this riot and save our beloved communist dictatorship, unless you are not who you claim to be. <laughs> it's showtime! Uh, uh. man wow! Oh, nice tear, toss. Good one, Skinny. Uh. Curing me with acupuncture. No, uh, porcupine uh, snuck in uh, while you were asleep. Ling Bouvier. <gasps> Selma, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she likes my eyes. <laughs> Homer, I do appreciate what you did. Of all the sneaky, dishonest things you've ever done, playing Selma's husband was by far the sweetest. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on woo! Selma Bouvier, this man is not your husband. And for that, no adoption. <gasps> Mama! <laughs> I am so sorry about what happened. But at least you saw what it was like to be married to me for a little while. I've got a plan to get Ling back, but we must be discreet. You never know where there might be a spy. Yes, tell me your plan in detail, American sister. Hold still, homie. You look just like a Buddha statue. Now all you need is an expression of utter serenity. A Buddha statue? We cannot leave it outside. It is bad feng shui. Baby back. May I talk to you, bureaucrat to bureaucrat? Yes, but you first must sign this form. <laughs> An initial here. Proceed. Madam Wu, we both love the enforcement of pointless rules. But there's a greater joy in bending the rules to help someone who thinks all hope is gone. My father was a ping pong champion. He died when the ball got stuck in his throat. My mother raised me alone, so I know it can be done. But you, drop the panda! But he loves me! Ow! You... <laughs> Something's wrong with Bart. He's acting weird. Feast on my shorts, stupid father man! Wait, you're not Bart. Eh, ah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna be a boy? <laughs> Can we talk? <laughs> Can we talk about us? Can we talk? I could be a diamond. You could be my queen. Baby, we talk.